from what I'm getting, you're a breadwinner. In my family. Hey. Hey. Who are you dating? Um, I'm sapiosexual. I don't know if you get that. Please explain to me. So this person I'm dating is way, 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 way older than me. But how many years? Like she's <laughs> Welcome to ZNB Talks. My name is EDNA. I am the People's Pay. Thank you so much, everybody who's been subscribing, guys. Mm. Then there was a comedian. What history do you have as a comedian? You know, I think it was a bad I think that would be like. But what about you, sir? No, like when you're not going to cheat, So uh, um, I've noticed there are a lot of people they don't have the courage to use it up on money. So you know, I, I I give them that boost to say, ah, 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 you need to tell this person or this, these people to behave a certain way. What if somebody tells you off? I think I take it, I take it in. I, I take it in like, because I, I cannot be always right. Mm. There's some things that I do wrong. So, mm. I take it lightly. I'm like, oh, okay, I think I was wrong. I'm mm. sorry, yeah. Earlier on, we are talking about fame. About um, what? Fame. Fame, oh, okay. And if we're being honest, you're kind of like one of the most famous people we have. <laughs> Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp. I'm on man. I'm not cheating. For real, honestly. <laughs> I think because we put up, there should be a video of Stefan saying something or doing something. You buy under the abuse. Actually, whose house do you abuse? Oh, that house. Mm. It's actually the family house. Yeah, you must say I did it by chance one day, but one month, my chance chance did it by chance. When I'm building a kitchen, I'm going to take them. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I started, um, dad and mom were. Um, dad used to work in um, the state house, so we're like in the state house police camp. So he did the kitchen and the using sister. So dad, um, he retired. So they went to Kabanga, could be a could be network. So I was like, ah, uh -uh, let me go to the ghetto, let me go to the family house. That's when I went to Mkendere. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you recorded in the kitchen wasn't because the concept of kitchen? No, that, that was actually mm, how I started was um, Kucha Kunyumba Kucha. There was mm. only me, dad, mom, my sister, and my young brother. Mm. So my sister used to go out a lot. Mm. And then in Kwanzaa in like I used to cook a lot. And mm. like the kitchen was my self place in the house. So if I want to do crazy stuff, it happens in the kitchen. Mm. So that's where it started from. From the kitchen. There, from the kitchen. Did people believe in you in the house? Come again? Did people believe in you? Okay. Is it something that you've always like did you always do that or are boy in the chair on the chair kitchen? So like okay, I believe we are like Ambabuno. So let me uh, take you through like how I started. Yes. So um I used to deliver some stuffs in town. So like uh belts, uh sunglasses and watches. Mm -hmm. So I had a client, I I went to deliver them. When I was coming back, I found a couple, there were two. Um there was a guy and a girl. I saw manje girls. And your dad would um, guys to say, you want more of kissing a day, but you more better with Jack Apinta. More guys are saying kissing a boy. So in a kind of normal room, so I was just there, like listening to the whole conversation. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm telling you, that, that that's how it started. So I went home, I wrote it down. So I was like, I think there are a lot of people that are going through this, but they don't have enough courage like that girl had to tell the guy. So what can I do to like? try to advocate for people that cannot say that don't have the courage mm -hmm. and then i looked for it. i said okay if i want to come out very serious they're not going to get it. but if i come out a bit funny and tell them something sensible they're going to get it. that's how it started mm -hmm. yeah so like in the house every everybody believed in me they were like oh, you can do it you can do it you're naturally funny so yeah, it wasn't really hard with uh, the family, but unless we are my friends. Mm, uh, my friends were Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So now here's the thing, eh? Yeah. Um, when we started watching your videos, most of us were like, full of my girls, like, you know, ladies, sisters. When do you get that character? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. 
I think I think I was there was just me and my older brother when we were growing up. We were just the just a bit of my males. So every everybody was female in the house. How many? There were lots. By then there was my grandma, my three aunties, my cousins my cousins were like six, seven. And then there's there was my brother and I. So I would see how they behave. I would know how they're going to react. So I knew those reactions. So like, I think I, I got in trouble when I was um, in primary and stuff. Because I would ask how they act. And then people would expect me to act a certain way, talk a certain way, walk a certain way, carry myself a certain way, of which I did not live up to their expectations mm -hmm. yeah so like because yeah i grew up with them a lot mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. so, and then school because we're talking school. School. Talk about school just now oh school school school. <laughs> <laughs> school so i vowed i vowed to god oh god like i want to go to school now up to i'm 30. if so I want to study now. I want to invest all my money in my studies. So that when it's time for me to like when it's 30, I don't want to like go to school anymore. I just want to deal with whatever. What I are you with. studying? Right now I'm doing food production diploma. So this is like my last semester. My last year, last semester. So I'll be done in November. And then next year, I want to study teaching methodology. I want to become a lecturer instead. Then after that, I think I want to start I'm some lecture, other stuff. You think stuff. your students are going to take you serious? They have to. <laughs> <laughs> And they have to Oh wow. Wow. Um did, are you still with funny comedians? Yeah, I'm still with uh funny comedians. How does it work? Come again? How does it work? Do we have to go through them if we want to book you? Yeah, if you feel like you can, but if you don't feel comfortable talking to my manager, you can come to me, it's fine. Mm, yeah. What is it all about? What is Funny Media? Okay, Funny Media, this is um, an artist management. So, uh, Braji, what he does, he manages artists. So, we've got poets in there, we've got um, assigned musician who was recently signed. Then, there are comedians, myself, Ken, and um, Wanajoko. Yeah, so we're all under funny community. Ah, nice. You talked about investing your, your money in your studies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you pay you people on TikTok, on Facebook, you're making that much money, right? Not really. You know, videos don't make money for for me, let me say so. What makes for money me. for you? What makes money for me is influencing brands and shows. Uh, I, would, I would be frank. Shows in Zambia, they don't pay enough. They do not pay enough. So I wouldn't say shows in Zambia, they pay me enough for me to like make money. No. I make my money when I go to Malawi. There's Kuduko there's, mm. Yeah. Kasaka, like for real, for real. Yes, Kasaka Kadiku. And then um, Muno, it's just uh, advertising for brands, ABCDs, and stuff like that. And MC, yeah, mm. it has got money. If you pass that, I. Sad. I was watching one of, your, one of your videos in Malawi. Mm -hmm. um, I was first, on stage? Yeah, you're on stage. You uh -huh. had Madrid, you're wearing, you're wearing all black. Uh -huh. And for me, it was a reception that you got in a different country. Yeah. So, how is how is it in Malawi? Are people really, really relating with your comments? Yeah, Malawi and Zambia, they are like, they're almost the same. Yeah. Yeah, so like, if you speak Nsenga, Chewa, uh, Nyanja, that side they're going to get you. Mm. Yeah. So if you speak other languages like Tonga, Lozi, Bemba, they're not going to get you. So my comedy, Gambiri Magamachi Nyanja, so they, they are able to get what I'm saying. Mm. They can relate. So if you speak Nyanja that side, they're going to get you. That's so, how it is. So would you advise some local comedians, such as comedy Mch Tonga, Mch, Mch Bemba, to kind of like infuse? I wouldn't advise because if, if if they're going to do that, they're only going to attract uh, Malawi. 
Okay. So, like, I just want them to believe in their diversity. It, mm. You don't have to speak Nyanja for you to, like, be a comedian. You can speak these other languages. It's, it's all, it all comes back to your content and how you relate with your people. Yeah. So, Mongaini, I think this this is the only country that relates to my comedy. But if you look at people like um, these others, Bama Kambam Bizungu, they can they travel. There are comedians that travel to African Joker was in uh, Saudi Arabia yeah. just now. So if they can do Yam Chizungu, they can mm. travel. But with me, I think I'm just good here. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to lose my uh, audience or because of I changed what I started. You don't want to. You don't want to do a comedy in America. I. I want to do comedy in America, uh, but with a Zambian audience, I would do. Chela, shouldn't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm content. I'm, <laughs> For real? I'm, yeah, I'm good. You don't want to perform to a different demography, like say, you're doing comedy for Chinese people. No, 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 no. If others can do that, let them do it. But with me, I'm good. Ah, why do I'm you? Good. Why, why do you think you're good? I'm good. You know, um. Like I said, when I started comedy, um, it wasn't something that I thought it would take me this far, like I would make money. I didn't think of that. So, like, I don't plan to have it for a long time. I want to have a time where I'm, I'm done with it. I have a family. I have kids. I, I, what do you mean with the kids? No, no, no. Like, oh. that time, when that time comes. <laughs> I want to be like, I don't want to be a comedian anymore. Okay, I get it. Yeah, so I like I've got, this is the only time that I can do it. And then there'll be a time that I'll stop doing it and leave it for um, a younger generation to do it. Mm-hmm. A younger generation. And we are the younger <laughs> generations. Abandon the city. Abandon the city, but it's our time. Let's do it. In number one, Jivo, Susachit. Jivo, Nares. Okay, so um, like what I said, like how I started, Yam Kazuenzo was a guy to say he went and stuff, stuff. So, like, what I was trying to say is you should, you should not do this because it's not what the society needs of you. Because it's not nice, you shouldn't do it, it's not right. Imagine a puppet comes and in that means you come and come and Exactly. Like why should I do that? Because it's a cheater. So that's where the concept comes from. Mm-hmm. Fast forward, eh? You started mm-hmm. after my amba Ivo was a cheater. Ivo mm-hmm. na lesa. You said seen when you were doing a Do you think manga kind of got inspiration from your from your craft? I'm zaning your this time. So. Manga was there before me. He was doing his stuff before me. So he did his 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 own person. I'm my own person. Everyone is their own person. So I did um that's the reason why whenever I do my stuff, I try to make it as unique as it can be. I don't want to be a copy of another another artist or another person. If you look at my content, I don't do current affairs. I don't wait for content to be given to me. I make content. I'm an artist. I make content. If I cannot make content, then let me stop this artistry and just sit. So for me, artistry is making content of your own. Exactly. Okay, but are you friends with Manga? Well, I've met I've met him once. How was it? Was it evil? No, 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 no. We uh, were actually I was coming from Mr. Chukaku school uh-huh. and then I met him but up um Palebi. We just said hi, 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 then we, we left. Uh-huh. He went his way, I went my own way. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I, I do call him sometimes. Uh-huh. Yeah, we do talk. How is Malawi? Malawi, Malawi, Malawi. Okay, Malawi is different. Uh, compared to Zambia, in a way that um, Uja, okay. um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> so, like, um, Uja, 
let me start with Mzuzu. Mzuzu is um, like Wetili Nama province is like Kundola. So that's how Mzuzu is. The, only, the whole region, they only have like one more. One more. In Mzuzu. In Mzuzu. So if you say, I'm going to the mall, you're going to one. one. They know it. <laughs> That's how it is. And then also, um, a lot of people down there, especially especially in Mzuzu, they don't they're not really educated that much. So if you speak a lot of English, they're not going to get you. You need to speak uh Nyanja, maybe mix it with a bit of English, but not English throughout. They're not going to get you. And then when you go down to Lilongwe, Lilongwe is like a city city. Though it's a city. Mm. If you hear anyone speak English, mm. then Mishikai. Everybody speaks Cheo, even in banks. <laughs> the first time I went there, I got they got me an Airtel SIM card. Uh. The message that came, uh. it was in Chewa. I was like, why is Airtel? <laughs> like you guys, everything is Chewa. TV, news, radio, in the everywhere is Chichewa. Mm. It's different from here. Kuna uzapeza kwa wakamba kochi chisenga, wakamba kochi bemba, chinyanja, chitonga and what. Kuja, there's nothing like that. Everyone sounds the same, they speak the same language. Mm. So it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, Nyahuyu, it's, what's your relationship with Nyahuyu? That girl, she's my friend, like my friend, friend, friend. How did you meet? So like, um, she came, the first time she came to Zambia, I remember that was in, should be 2020, I'm not really sure. So when she came here, she came for, I don't know what she came for. I'm not really sure why, why she came here. And then they met uh, with, when I came, what, what, then they, um, they called me to say, well, this girl is in Zambia. I never knew her then. I've, ne- I've never seen her videos. I've never seen her work. So I'm like, who's this girl? So they, they sent me videos to say, well, meeting her today. Fanike Media has to be there, all of us, like to just chill with her. But that was at East Bank. So we went there. We chilled for some time, for some time. We exchanged numbers, whatnot. When she went, when she was still around, we were not like that close. She went there, that's when we started talking a lot. Then the friendship grew. And then she came back again. The whole friendship was going well, well, well. And then she was like, oh, you know what? I need to take you to Malawi. So I was like, what? And then she was like, people love it. They, they, they appreciate so the sure videos. If, if we upload this video, we're going to have some viewers from Malawi. Definitely. That's you will. Stefan from Malawi. Yes. Oh. I'm positive you're going to have them. So I was like, I'm not really sure of how much people love me there. I think you're just bluffing or something. I don't think they can love me. Like, what do they love about me? They, and then she was like, no, they get your language. Similar to ours, so they get you. So let's have a show there. I was a bit skeptical. Like, going there, I was a bit skeptical. I was like, am I going to meet up to their expectations? It was really crazy. So I went down there. I spoke Nyanja the whole time and they, they could get. So mm. I was like, ah, oh, I think we're just one and the same people. We do understand. Mm. So when they did that show, the first one came back, then we were called again to go that side. And that's how. Then that, is it, um, was it the third trip that you guys made or was it the second trip? Like it was. When Nandinema, it was that first time. But with yours? Me, it was my second time. It was the second time. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Are you a patient person? What patient? Uh, well, with some things, yeah. Because yeah. obviously, in it, honestly, there's a fortune when a chair bends, you pick your pinky, and have a chair. Because I mean, you're famous, Stefan. <laughs> People know. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you say there's been some growth from well, the time that you started up until now? Yeah. Like individual yeah. growth and also financial growth. Yeah, like, like um, when I started. That was in 2019, and then I clapped in 2015. So I was supposed to go to school like in 2016 or 17, of which I didn't go because of finances, ABCD, ABCD. But when I started in 2019, that was in 
April, May. I think that was March, 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 summer, March. Mm. And then that same year, in, Ju in July, I went to school. What school were you at? I'm at uh, Fairview. No, before then, which school were you at? You went to Global Combat in 2019? I'm still there. I'm still there. So that 2019, you're at Fairview? Yeah, I was at Fairview. I did like my first uh, year, first semester. Mm -hmm. And then the COVID stuff happened. Mm. I never had shows. Mm. I never had uh, gigs to my events. Though, because they'll be my clients. They didn't see now my toes like this. But that is time for you to pop, Kyle. Okay. Still want to share online. Yeah, that, that, the plan was to have that going. But if we have business, then let's have it. Monday by that time, we do not have a course at the COVID time. So I had to drop out of school. I stayed for a whole year without going to school. That was 2020, the whole year I didn't go to school. Because of finances? Yes. So I went back to school in 2021. So now I'm going to go back to school. Uh-huh, 2021. So I went back to school. Then, unfortunately, the, um, the team said, you can't continue from where you stopped from. So you need to start afresh. So I had to start. That's why I never in this company. I want, when I'm 30, I don't want to study anymore. Mm. It's because this thing delayed me. From what I'm getting, you're a breadwinner. In my family. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, I actually paid for it. Yeah. Yeah. How many videos do you make in a day? No, I don't make videos every day, trust me. I've got moods. Like, I would I would feel like making videos. I would make like maybe 10, 15, depending with how I feel. Mm. And then I would go the whole month without making a video and just be posting one of those videos. Because I don't even feel like doing videos anymore. Mm. Yeah, so when I feel like that's when I make videos, but I make above five. About five? Yeah. Eight, you need eight. to have, like, yeah, like you need to have, that days you're like, ah, I don't feel like. Okay. It's, I don't do any questions. Who are you dating? Me? Yeah. Ah. Oh, are you into girls? Brother. <laughs> I knew this question was going to come. I knew, I knew. So I you better. Knew.
uh, she gave her the number and then we started talking. Mm. So this person I'm dating is way, 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 way older than me. But how many years? Like she's 42. You're lying. No, I'm not. And how old are you? I'm 25. <laughs> No. At least my pinamkaka tables have turned. No, like I said, girl. I'm happy for you, friend. <laughs> no, I can handle that. Trust me, I can handle it. Why? Do you think he can handle it because she's not around? No, it's not necessarily that. Um, I think I'm more attracted to older people than people of my age. I think people of my age, they're too, they're indecisive. Mm. They're immature. Mm. They uh they don't know what they want to do. In mm. I know what I want to do, mm. and I know what to do to get what I want. Mm. But people of my age, a lot of them, they don't they don't know what they want. They don't know what they want to do. Mm. They're not stable. So if I date someone older, I think that is going to work for me because. Mm. They know what they want to do. They are old. Like that's what I want. I don't want to deal with uh, issues of cheating. Yes. What I don't want you to, don't do want to, do to do deal with all that. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, I'll be thirty. I think up by then I'll be done with school. Huh? Mm -hmm. So I want to do other other businesses like the ones I'm really passionate about. Um, transport business. Mm. Um, I'll be a chef by then. So I want yes, to have like my own. Yes, you also have interest in cooking, eh? Yeah, yeah. So I want to have my own chilling spot, like where people would come and eat yeah. and drink. Mm, what other thing do I want? I want to have a lot of things, a lot actually. So I've, I have them planned. So by by the time I'm there, I'll know how to do all this. Mm. Yeah. Media house. Uh, I don't really like TV. Mm. I don't really like TV because you have to keep up with the appearance. Yeah. And that is quite stressful for me. Here's why I asked that. When are you getting a camera? I'm going to shoot in a content. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Eh? Camera. No, we're we arranging that. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It's coming, yeah. Okay. I also want to have my own um show. Okay. Where nice. I'm, I'm cooking. Nice. It's similar to some one. Ah, we're going to be cracking it. But then, sure. but then it's going to be infused with um, uh, uh, cooking and mm. uh, interaction and mm. comedy. Ah, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be nice. That's that's my plan. You want it on a big platform? Yeah, I want it like on a very very big platform. I don't want it to be something small. Oh, our platform is big. Oh, we can we can even have it here as long as we have a kitchen. We'll do that. No, you find the kitchen. We'll just come with the camera. And then <laughs> we'll move around with you. We'll move around with you. Don't My worry. My goodness. You see how young ones are taking over now. Yeah. Indirectly, like we are. Other, you know, cool. They're just stepping back, pushing the young ones. Mm -hmm. So now, who do you look up to? Okay, so I look up to In the a older generation. Of, yes. Older. I look up. To, I don't get inspiration from them. Let's get that clear. Okay. I'm just looking up to them looking at their work and their achievements like how i live how i interact with people and where i go and then um these people people i look up to i think uh mona chingwala would be one of them ken ken helped me a lot when ken i was yeah when i was starting he actually called me like yo you're doing great let's come and do a video uh, he's actually the one who links me to Raji. Oh. So for me to be under for Nick and because of him. Nice. Yeah, he really helped me a lot. Him, uh, but Bob, but Bob is, he's, he's really good. Bob Kosha. Yeah, he's been okay. there, he's been there. Who else? I think let me be here. <laughs> <laughs> an action guy. Mm. Every time I ask, I ask a comedian like who inspires you or who do you look up to, I get different names every day. Yeah. Yeah. Nanga same age group ya do British, but British. Kela musti kasti kela. Inspiration. I don't just, get inspired oh, by. Just someone you say, okay, I think they're doing a good job. Okay, if you put it like that, I think Dinema is really good, mm. especially when it comes to stand up. Uh, Vubu is an amazing artist. I. 
I love her. She's really good. Um, um, who else? Who else? I think let's see. Well, wow. Not so much. Let me be frank. Not so much. Uh, who else? I think let, let me be here. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, I'll wrap it up, eh? Mm -hmm. I check Ah, we need to be So, we I'll pass. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through, man. Thank you so much for having me here. All the best. Give me your top five artists before you leave. My artists are Chan Wembe Manyimbo. Eh, Wembe Manyimbo. Um, James Sakala. Mm. Towe La Kaira. Mm. Frank Rowe. Mm. Mm. What do I listen to? Mm. My I think Bumpy. Um, Mzimbi. I don't know Mzimbi. Hey, 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 we know the day. day. Let's, can we do that? <laughs> sure. Let's play. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're wrapping up, guys. Remember to leave a comment. Remember to subscribe. Please make sure to like. What's that? I'm going to leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe. You know what time it is? It's hashtag elevating the industry. Like and subscribe.